In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why the father is oftentimes hated. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, in the word it says friendship with the world is enmity with Yah. There is a deep rebellion towards Yah, the Father. There's a deep-seated uh, hatred towards the Father. We're gonna start off biblical and then I'm gonna bring you physical. When you look at the word of the Most High Yah, the Most High Yah gives us laws, commandments, statutes, ordinances for us to follow uh, to keep us in uh, a boundary to where we will be in his favor, okay? You know, the father uses men in the physical to maintain his standard. The standard is righteousness, okay? When you think about that, you look at the modern day church and the Most High Yah in his word telling you, I do not dwell in temples made by the hands of men. This is why these folks call the building the church when the ecclesia is actually the people actually the congregation and this is the reason why so much foolishness goes on in the church because of some deep rooted hatred towards the father and instead of men upholding the standard they have relaxed the standard now I'm going to take you to the American home, to the house, because the family unit is the center of the ecclesia, because you are taught to teach things of righteousness and holiness in your household. Men are instructed to do it. So I want you to think about this. Here in Western culture, women have wanted and fought for the man to be out of the house. Why is that? There has always been a deep-seated hatred, a high level or amount of hatred towards the father. You think in a home, man, in order to have the protection of a man, he's gonna give you some rules, some commands, some statutes, some precepts to follow so you can stay protected. But everybody in the house, the kids, the woman, they want the protection without the obedience. They want the protection of the father without the obedience. What good is a bodyguard to you if you're not willing to listen to him? Hey, get down, don't go that way. Hey, turn here, go that way. See, oftentimes the father that's setting forth righteousness saying, hey, don't wear that. Hey, don't do that. Hey, no, we ain't doing that. This is a boundary. Hey, you got to think. A father will set a bedtime uh, for those kids to go to bed so they can be well rested. But the kids will advocate, you know, will vent to mama. Mama, how come daddy making us go to bed so early? Come on, can't you, can't you get them to let us stay up another 30 minutes? But guess what? When it's time to wake those kids up in the morning and they've been up all daggone night, now the woman is pissed off because there was no boundaries followed to protect the sleep quality of the kid. That's just a simple example. That's a simple example. So you gotta understand, the father is gonna cut all through the BS and say, you know what, this is the this is the rule, this is the precept, this is the commandment. And often, 
you know, the man is allowed further authority to set forth further precepts, you know, statutes and commandments, long as they don't go against the will of the Most High Yah. This is why it says, obey your leaders that have rule over you. Don't nobody want to be ruled over in this daytime and hour, uh, righteously ruled over. When you do that, the father is attacked. The woman will call the man a narcissist. When he is trying to, you got to think, uh, man, the husband is the savior of the body. So without the, without the protection of a man, this is why we got all these women out here uncovered and all of this stuff is happening to them. You have to be willing to adhere to the rules, statutes, commandments, precepts, laws of the father. Just like mankind hates the boundaries of the father. I'm here to tell you, man, standing in the gap, you know, filling that role, you know, fulfilling that role as a father, as a husband, oftentimes you will uh, experience a lot of hatred because you are enforcing the standard and you should be living it. So you're not considered a hypocrite, but I'm telling you this to prepare you because you got to look at the climate of things going on. Everybody walking around saying that they love God. And you have to ask yourself, who is it that these people serve? Because the minute you start talking about uh, law, statutes, commandments, and precepts, now you're starting to see the rebellion uh, that's coming out of these people. And the Most High Yah tells us his word is sharper than a two-edged sword. It is going to pierce the flesh. It is going to show the real intentions of your heart. You have to think, man. At one point, and still today, women are saying, man, forget the husband. I don't want to be under that righteous authority. I don't want to be under no uh, type of, uh, of submission, whether it be righteous or not. I don't want to be up under that. And then you look at the statistics of the women that raise kids on their own that don't want a man, and they have some of the worst statistics. In every kind of facet of crime and dysfunction, you look at the population and it's come from single motherhood. And, and look at where we are today. Women are being uh, choosing to be single mothers by choice. Why? Hatred of the father. Where's the hatred of the father and you choosing to be a single mother by choice? The most high y'all told you to, to honor marriage among all and not to, not to defile the marriage bed. He told the young women, I will have that you marry, bear children and guide the house to give the adversary no occasion to speak reproachfully. That was his precept. Now you're starting to see the hatred of the father, spiritual, physical. You're looking at why when you look at the system, they gave women an ultimatum. You can have this little bit of substance that gives you the freedom to not have to walk within these boundaries set forth by the father, or you can choose to stay in those boundaries, be in the favor of the most high Yah, choice is yours. A lot of women opted out to have the covering removed over, over her, over those kids and her nakedness and her whoredoms are revealed because women are not gonna hold women accountable. They're going to promote women being lawless. Look at the sisterhood. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.